Project 3, the model of the story. Rolanda's objectives, to understand that a story can be entertaining, yet display moral values. To create a new story that offers a lesson or moral. To tell the story using the skills developed in the previous two projects. Will the timer please give us the timing parameters for the speech? Five minutes speech. Five to seven. Five, minutes. Seven. five six, and seven. Okay. So five minutes green light, six minutes yellow light, seven minutes red light. Thank you. The title of this speech is a, a grueling job interview. Toastmaster Rolando Goldman is a software engineer. He has been a Toastmaster for a little bit over two years. He has received his Com Confident Communicator Award from Toastmasters International. Tonight, Toastmaster Rolando Goldman will tell us a personal story about a job interview he had seven years ago. Please welcome Rolando. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests, good evening. Seven years ago, I had a job interview scheduled on a summer day for a software engineering position. The job interview was scheduled on a Thursday around 2 p.m. At that day, it was about 95 degrees Celsius. At 1 p.m. that day, I got dressed, navy, navy blue pants, long sleeve shirt. I got my jacket, stepped out the house, I got into my car, I forgot my handkerchief. I went back to my house, I got my handkerchief. Why did I need my handkerchief? My black Honda had a broken air conditioning. And I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, I gotta drop the interview. So the, by the time I got to the car, I already had sweat going down to my face. I got into the car, I'm using my handkerchief, rubbing down my face. I start my car, I start driving down to Boca Raton. I'm driving, I'm putting something on my back, some liquid on my back, sweat falling down on my back already. Imagine driving in South Florida, 95 degrees weather, no AC in your car. I have to drop out of you, what can I do? I drove down to Boca Raton, and luckily, when I got to the building, I found some shady area. I parked the car. So I said, let me cool off a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, because I got there early, the traffic was light. I cool off a little bit, used my handkerchief a little bit more, wiped down my face. Got out the car, got my jacket, cooled down a little bit more, make sure that I'm cool, because I'm in a shady area. I got some wind to look to my back. I put my jacket on. I got into the first building, came into the building, opened the door. Oh, AC. I feel better, much better. I feel good now. The receptionist greeted me politely and she walked me into the conference room. I was glad to wear an AC. But still, I was a little bit nervous, not knowing how the interview was going to go. A few minutes later, somebody walking into the conference room, a tall, slender man, walking into the conference room. Say, hi, Orlando. My name is Steve. I got up. I said, nice to meet you, Steve. He said, have a seat. Steve proceeded to talk to me, asked me a few questions about my background, technical questions about what I've done in the past. We spoke. And I, we had good rapport, and I feel good about the way we were talking. After 20 minutes, about 20 minutes of conversation, she told me, okay, we're good. The next guy coming in, his name is Robert, he's going to come in next. Steve left. A couple of minutes later, 
Warbird came in. I said, how old are you? I'm Warbird. I got up, shook Warbird's hand. I said, nice meeting you, Warbird. Warbird said, have a seat. So same thing, you start asking me about a question about my background, what I've done, test me on a few questions. We go back and forth. And after he asked me a few questions, he said, Do you, are you thirsty? Do you need anything? No. I said, yes, I can use some water. So he offered me a bottle of water. I was glad because my, I, by that time, my throat was getting dry. I drank the water. I feel a lot better now because the water, I think, started to cool down my nerves, which I was hoping it would do. After about 25 minutes of conversation, Robert told me that, okay, we're good now. Josh is going to come in next. <laughs> so when they sent me the invitation for the interview, they had sent me an email. So I knew all the interviewers. When I read the email, Josh, Josh, is supposed to be the engineering architect. That means this is the guy that's gonna drill me. This is the guy that's gonna make the decision. If this guy say no, then I'm gonna hire me. So I'm counting, like five minutes, nobody. 10 minutes, looking at my watch, nobody. I'm, I'm saying cool. 15 minutes, still nobody. After about 20 something minutes, I had a bang on the door. And then the door opens abruptly. And somebody said, The F word. I saw a big guy, about six, five, six foot five, <laughs> 200 pounds, with his khaki shorts and red t shirt with white writing, said, You all sucks. <laughs> he came in. I got up, I thought he was going to do this himself. He just pulled out the chair, sit down, he said, have a seat. I sat down, and he proceeded to ask me questions. The first question he asked me, he said, um, have you done singleton, singleton classes before? Singleton, singleton classes is like a, term, a program, a computer program terminology. I said, ha, yes, I've done singleton classes before. He said, show me how you did it. He told me, go on the board and show me. So I go on the board, it starts explaining to him how I do it, and he will go back and forth, ask me more questions. And then he keep he asked, he must have asked me about 15 to 20 questions. He keep pounding on me. Every, every question I had to go on the board, explain to him, this is why I did it, and he will count with more questions. There were a couple of questions that I could not answer. I told him, I don't know. I've never done this before, but I could research it and find out how to do it. After about an hour drilling me, he said, okay, that's it. We're good now. You're gonna use for more than a week. And about a week, I got a job offer. When I walked into the job, on my first day, Josh came and talked to me and said, I'm sorry, I must apologize for what I did. I know I was impolite and I was rude, I was hostile to you. I was doing it purposely so I could see how you handle yourself. And he also said that I appreciate your honesty when you said you didn't know, when you know you didn't know the answer. You didn't try to BS me. And this shows you fellow Toastmasters. Whatever the situation, whatever the situ situation is, whatever is, whatever you do, <clears throat> honesty is the best policy. Okay.